There is one question that I wanted, wanted to ask you, and I know that you love this question. Uh, and the question is, uh, how is React Native testing library uh, different from a uh, something that I've uh, that I've heard uh, native testing library, which is actually listed on the on the testing library website? Um, what's the story behind that? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why, why that change? And, and and can we expect anything uh, to happen around that? Yeah. So. Uh... Uh, every time we release a new version of the library, we get asked the same questions. Why are we? <laughs> uh, why did we ended up having two libraries doing uh, exactly the same? Uh, so the, the the thing number one is that they are not the same. Uh, they have the same APIs, uh, or very similar at least. Uh, they work differently under the hood, and. Uh, and our library was the first one uh, to, to come up uh, as an open source library. And this, this native testing library, uh, which is renamed uh, as an official testing library slash React Native, um, was uh, created a bit later. Uh, and it was uh, actually created like behind our backs. Um, we, we didn't like this situation. We had, uh, um, we had some. Uh, Offline conversations uh, with with Kent and uh, and the uh, creator of the library, and uh, that this is not an optimal situation for uh, for our community. But in the end, we um, uh, we didn't come up with uh, with the agreement on uh, what to do in the situation. So uh, so we kept the status quo uh, by having two libraries. So uh, so the one. The official one is uh, it's not our library, but our library is uh, um, is, is as as we already uh, as we say it on uh, on the documentation is is community driven and uh, specifically React Native community driven and uh, developed by uh, Callstack, which in, uh, invests a lot in into making this this library usable and. Uh, easy to maintain. And the maintainability is the biggest difference between those libraries. Uh, so our idea is to uh, is to have a th thinnest possible abstraction layer or to on top over the React test render and uh, not introducing uh, any hacks specific to, to React Native. Uh, so, so, so some React Native uh, um, APIs that or uh, uh, actually very native mocks uh, that are uh, let's say not uh, not ideally uh, re-implemented in, inside JavaScript from their uh, native components. Um, we we don't do anything to to fix them, right? We uh, we believe that they should be fixed upstream, while the other library. Uh, tries to fix stuff that create native mocks break, for example. Okay, um, so that's the, uh, uh, that's the biggest difference, and it allows us to move really fast to be compatible with any version of React Native, while the second library has uh, currently uh, issues with, with the maintenance, maintenance um, uh, and, uh, and and that's because the uh, the way they uh, um, uh, they wanted to deal with uh, with problems that were, in our opinion, uh, not a responsibility of a tested library, but related itself. Uh, I see. So, I see. So that's how it looks today, and uh, uh, but there is there is uh, there is actually a. Uh, some some bright future uh, ahead ahead of us because uh, with the like one of the um, one other difference between our libraries is that we uh, in our version one allowed for shallow rendering or uh, or introduce some uh, unsafe uh, unsafe queries that were not aligned with the uh, guiding principles of uh, of testing library 
I guess that was so, one of those uh, problems between like testing yes. library one and, yeah. and, and two. Yeah, and uh, the, the thing is that we couldn't uh, migrate off of those uh, uh, APIs too fast and, uh, and just break everybody because uh, there were already uh, a lot of users, including our clients, uh, that were using this library. So we, we couldn't afford uh, to, to break everything to, so, so that we're uh, now officially um, uh, compatible with the guiding principles of this nice library. so so we've came up with uh, with a long plan uh, on how to address the, all of those issues uh, and uh, and that's how we came up with uh, v2 which which got released a few weeks ago uh, and and v2 is uh, is fairly easy to uh, to upgrade from the v1 uh, we've uh, prepared a thorough migration guide, blog post, uh, with rationale uh, behind our decisions. And with this version, we are practically compatible with, uh, um, with, the, uh, with other testing libraries, uh, with, with their APIs. Uh, we made sure that, um, that the React Native testing library is, uh, is compatible with uh, also, some community libraries around uh, ESLint uh, uh, or uh, or custom just matchers. So, so we did a, a lot of work uh, to uh, that was incremental and uh, and allow everybody to to upgrade seamlessly, um, or at, at least we we hope so that it's it's a seamless upgrade. We we didn't have we didn't see uh, too many issues. Um, uh, when upgrading our uh, internal apps uh, or, or our clients' apps, and 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 also, it's uh, it's been a few weeks already uh, since the release of V two, and uh, um, we didn't have any um, um, didn't have any uh, uh, like issues created around the. Paying yeah. for upgrading, so uh, so we read this as a small success that we uh, we managed to uh, remove or at least rename some of the um, um, dangerous APIs and allow for uh, gradual upgrade to yeah. uh, to our users, and this was. Um, uh, uh, it seems like this was a uh, also a sign to to Kent, uh, the creator of this libraries, uh, that uh, maybe it's time to uh, to do something about those uh, uh, the split inside the community uh, that we have to to libraries for testing React Native, and we're actually. Uh, like right now, we uh, we we have uh, like almost clear path to to resolve this situation, and in the nearest future, uh, our library will um, will hopefully become the library to test React Native, uh, and uh, the second one uh, will be phased out. Uh, and uh, the missing parts is is that we need to come up with uh, with a good migration strategy. It shouldn't be problematic because the APIs are, uh, yeah. are the same.